What's up, everybody? Jasper Gonzo here. Another episode of What's Next Weekend Edition. Um, every once in a while, I like to do a feel-good story. And uh, this falls into that category. Of course, if you... Uh, let's take a trip on the way back just a few months ago. You had Joe Dementia. Yeah, so the Dementia Administration running around saying, I'm going to pose a... Vax mandate on private businesses, which of course is illegal and unconstitutional. And of course, he kept his mouth shut with everything else going on because every time he opened his mouth, shit hit the fan. But of course, recently, he decided to use OSHA, a federal arm regarding hazardous um, uh, compliances in regards to the workplace, as a hammer for this Vax mandate, which of course, as I reiterate, illegal and unconstitutional. Well, looks like we got some good news, and this comes out of Texas. Let's take a look. This comes out of the outkick. President Biden's federal vax mandate blocked after Texas sues. President Dementia's objective to get a federal vaccine mandate in play by January 4th has been blocked by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit assessed that the mandate posed, quote, grave statutory and constitutional issues. Celebration of the appeals court decision was spearheaded by Texas Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton and the Lone Star State, joining 26 other states that were against requiring businesses of 100 or more employees to require proof of VAX for its COF, uh, for its workers, or subjecting them to a weekly testing and multiple fines. State officials opposed the Biden uh, vaccination ruling, which was filed under OSHA, warned that the subjecting businesses to these standards would lead to a a constant uh, continuation in labor shortages and could be a death sentence for businesses that infringe on the regulation, which would warrant a near $150,000 fine per infringement. Quote, yesterday, I sued the Biden administration over its unlawful OSHA vax mandate. Paxton announced on Saturday, we won just this morning, citing grave statutory and constitutional issues. The fight is not over, and I will never stop resisting the administration's unconstitutional overreach. Yes, fascism 2021. Missouri Attorney Attorney General Eric Schmidt joined the celebration following the fifth court's announcement to state a mandate, though the battle to keep the Democrats' plan on imposing a federal vax mandate requires still requirement still persists. Quote, it is unlawful. Mandate will cause injury and hardship to working families, inflict economic disruption and staffing shortages on the states and private employers, and impose even greater strains on struggling labor markets and supply chains. Yes, those wonderful supply chains, you know, that are stuck on the coasts because we have nobody to move them. On Friday, anonymous Employees from Procter & Gamble released a video warning of dire shortage, shortage, I'm sorry, dire shortages in good, of, uh, in good and labor expected in the coming months due to the thousands of workers that are expected to be cut over not being vaxxed. Um, that's, uh, let me click on that Twitter feed. And this uh, comes out of Procter & Gamble. Names. You don't know our faces. But there are thousands of us. And we work to produce the brands and products you use every single day. Pampers. Tide. Tampax. Charmin. Gillette. Febreze. Crest. Oral-B. Secret. And many more. Some of us have been working here for 30 years. Some of us have been working here for 30 months. But we all have one thing in common. Because our company has threatened us with termination in the near future for daring to say, our bodies, our choice. On our own website, we have a line that states, we show respect for all individuals. This is something our leaders preach to us every single day. But it is something that they have failed to put into practice. And it is why we can't even show our faces in this video for fear of retribution. Not surprised. Instead of respect, 
Many of us in this company have been subjected to name calling, exclusion, and Shaming. general disgust. Exactly. For simply Not exercising our right to choose what we put in our bodies. Not to take the Being poke. Being forced to decide between termination or indefinite discriminatory testing requirements that PNG can eliminate at their discretion at any time is not a choice. No. It's coercion, plain and simple. You, the consumer, may not care about us being attacked. You may not even care if we're terminated. But know this. You'll start to care when our termination begins to affect you personally. Exactly. What you've already seen happen to the airline industry will soon happen to many other organizations in America and around the world. Facts. When shipping speeds slow to a crawl, and you can't acquire basic necessities, remember you could have stopped it from happening. When the factories in which we work grind to a halt, you will be to blame. So what can you do to stop this? Reach out to our company and tell them their overreach will not be tolerated. Or do nothing. And watch how quickly you are affected. Yeah. So do the right thing. Speak out and make your voice heard to our leadership. Your future depends on it wow 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 and that is the phone number right there to procter and gamble headquarters 513-983-1100 that's 513-983-1100 uh i thought i was just going to end up reading the article and just giving my thoughts on it but this video is uh powerful it's um, straightforward in your face and he and this video by these employees um, hit the nails on the heads in regarding to uh, shipping in regarding to um, production availability in regards to how they conduct themselves um, but the emphasis on 26,000 employees that are affected by this forced coerced vax mandate and once again i will re-emphasize that it is illegal and unconstitutional but in the end when it hits you personally the basic necessities that we use every single day is affected that's when you'll care or when it comes to your place of employment that's when you'll care how about caring now? Just saying. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is What's Next. I want to see more just like this. Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll see you again next time. Peace.